Hello. Aggregate demand, all the spending that's going on in the economy, um, is made up of C and I and G and X minus N. Think about it. This is all the spending in the economy. But this is all the spending done by consumers. This is all the spending done by firms. This is the spending done by the government. And this is the spending done by foreigners outside our economy as they buy our goods, our exports. Of course, we have to take off the things that we spend uh, uh, that leaks abroad, the imports that we buy. But this is all the spending in the economy. In this video, I want to concentrate on consumption because consumption is the most important in terms of size. It's the largest of all these components. In the UK, consumption is uh, estimated to be 60, 65 percent of all the spending in the economy. And so what drives consumption? A range of things drive consumption. A range of, of, of components will, will help decide when people spend, how much they spend, how quickly they spend, do they borrow to spend. A range of, of factors um, influence that. Uh, perhaps the most important one uh, is income. How much people's income uh, is certainly influences how much they spend. In the UK, the APC, the average propensity to consume, is consistently uh, around about 0 0.95 or 0 0.96, indicating, uh, or even higher, indicating that we, the amount we spend is very closely linked to and is very close to the amount we earn. When incomes have risen, we've seen comparative rises in consumption. So clearly the level of income is obviously a, a, a component, that, uh, an influence on, on, on this major component of aggregate demand. Um, that's one. Another one is the level of wealth. Uh, wealth is different to income. Income is how much we get in regularly, but wealth is how much we have. It's the value of our savings, of our assets, and of course a wealth effect is very common uh, in times, not at the moment, but, but uh, most of the time it seems in recent history, property rises have been rising. And that's created a wealth effect because for most people, their major uh, asset of wealth is their home, their property. And as it's gone up, people have been willing to borrow, uh, even if they completely own their, their home, they're willing to, to take out to remortgages and, and borrow against the value of their house confident in the knowledge that they are becoming more wealthy. So a wealth effect uh, is definitely uh, present and uh, let's face it, if you found I don't know, an unknown 38th play of Shakespeare up in your attic and it was valued at uh, 50 million pounds, it would change your consumption pattern, I think. So, wealth effect. Of course, actually quite interesting, as prices of property go down now, uh, in the current credit crunch, which, which is occurring, um, maybe this is a, causing a negative wealth effect and people are kind of slowing down their spending as they fear that they are becoming less wealthy. Anyway, third point here is inflation. This impacts people's consumption. The rate of inflation. What do you think happens? Do you think that if inflation accelerates, as it seems to be doing uh, in many countries at the moment, does it encourage spending or slow down spending? You might think it encourages spending because when inflation is going up rapidly, it encourages us not to hang on to cash, but to get out there and spend it before it becomes worthless. If I'm thinking of buying a new car and car prices are going up rapidly, I better buy it quickly before it's too expensive. But in fact, the, although that, that may occur, the opposite uh, in, impact of, of, of high rates of inflation, where it slows down our spending, actually dominates. It seems as though people are worried about their savings, they're worried about the uh, what they have, and so they compensate by saving more during times of inflation. And of course, t during times of inflation, people are nervous, they're worried, and so that's when they cut back on their spending. Um, a fourth influence could be the rate of interest. A lot of consumption occurs uh, as people borrow money on credit cards, at banks, they take loans and mortgages. And the higher the rate of interest, the more expensive it is to borrow money, and therefore that slows down consumption. Something else to think about as well, the higher the rate of interest, the more reason there is to save. And if you're not saving, you're spending. And if you're not spending, you're saving. So you've got a choice what to do with your income and your money, and, and the higher the rate of interest, the greater the opportunity cost of not saving. So high rates of interest encourage people not to spend, but to save for the, for the benefits of saving. 
but also it becomes more expensive to borrow. A fifth influence on consumption, expectations. Difficult to measure, confidence levels, um, but expectations definitely play a part. If people feel worried about the future, if they feel insecure in their job, if they're worried they're going to lose their job, if they're worried that the, the, about the future state of the economy, then, then they tend to freeze up, not spend as much, cut back and, and, and be prepared for, for more difficult times. If feel, people feel very confident, then they are willing to go out and spend, take holidays and buy luxury goods and so forth. So the level of expectations, are difficult to measure that one, uh, but uh, that definitely has to have, have, to have an influence. Um, also the demographics. The demographics of the country are changing all the time. We're living in, 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 in Europe, we're living in, in countries where uh, there, is, there are aging populations. A larger and larger proportion of the population are elderly. And uh, this is true in Japan, it's true in the USA, and all over Europe. And as the demographics change in a country, the, the, the age profile of, of the country changes, so does the willingness to spend, because people spend different amounts at different stages of their life. Uh, also, the makeup of households change, uh, as that changes, that, that influences our spending patterns as well. There are just six. There are other things uh, I could talk about the availability of credit, how easy it is to borrow money. That's an issue at the moment. It's not been so easy to get mortgages, and that's reduced consumption in the UK um, in the last year or two. Um, there are other things that influence consumption, but these are the key, um, the key influences on the major component of aggregate demand. Okay, I hope that was interesting.